So what's up, man? Episode one. Yeah, we literally just been filming interviews, posting them on TikTok for three months. And eventually people just started begging for it. Like, where's the podcast? How can I listen to it? So we really, we really making this for people who are just asking for it. We didn't even come up with this. So that's a fact. Who is CFN Trap God? Shit, me, the GOAT. Well, nah, I be chilling, bro. Like, hey, I'm the definition. I'm just the definition of keep going. That's it. Okay. Well, when did when did CFN Trap God start? Did that start when you were in the streets? Did that start when you started making music? Hey, that is crazy. Cause, bro, for some reason, I knew you were gonna ask this. I know, bro. My boy started calling me that. I wasn't even rapping. My boy started calling me that. He died though. But um, the whole name he came up with CFN and Trap God. No, I came up with CFN. He just put that shit together. Yeah, and what's that stand for? What CFN came from nothing. Yeah, really came from nothing. You know. Talk about that. What is nothing to you? Because a lot of people, I mean, n- nothing could be different. I, I, yeah, I tell you, it's different levels of the bottom and shit. I came from the bottom, no toilet bottom. And where where was this at? Like, what city was this in? Well, matter of fact, I right, boom. I, t- I was staying in Durham. Then I moved to Roxburgh. I think it was Roxburgh. I can't remember. Mm. But yeah, hey, we had that budget, man. And this is all in North Carolina, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Okay. So, I mean, I know I've heard the stories about you stealing electricity oh, and, on, and water. Bro. What's up? Bro, we got to go back. 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 We got to go back to the name because, but at least something I've been, like, all right, boom. The only reason why I always kept the, the name for so long is because my boy gave it to me and he died. Right. But, like, personally, I really was thinking about taking the God part off. Like, bro, I've been meaning to do that for so long, but my boy gave me the name, so I just always kept it. Why'd you want to take it off? You didn't want to, like, do the religion, like, didn't want any religious affiliation or something, or what? No, 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 I was going to take it off. <laughs> okay. Because you got to think, everybody already called me Trout, so. Yeah. It would just, it really just makes sense. Might as well keep it shorter, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I really need to try and draw my social media to that. So what's your passion right now, man? Because we know we did a lot in the streets. Like, is it just music right now? Like, what what are you working at right now? I know we got this podcast, obviously. Bro, I be chilling, bro. I don't be doing nothing. <laughs> you don't be doing nothing. You, uh, but why do you say be... that, though? You just say that so nobody gets in your business? Nah, I really be chill, bro. I really don't be doing nothing, bro. Like, mm. I be at the crib all day, man. <laughs> Okay. You know, like, bro, I'm saying, I'm like a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm like a, um, bro, I don't be focused on one thing, bro. Like, I be focused on multiple things. Mm. Like, yeah, I stay focused on multiple things. Multi-passionate. Yeah, you feel me? Like, right now, I'm focused on trucks, Airbnbs, real estate, clothing, um, Bro, I don't know. I just I be focused on some area thing, bro. Which one of those is gonna probably come up first that you're gonna see some success with first? I don't know, but I'm 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 about to start the clothing and I'm about to start the trucks. Okay. So you know, like bro, it don't matter it don't matter how much money it make, all of it is a stream of income. Mm. So you might make fifty thousand from the trucks and only make ten thousand from the clothes, but it's still that's an extra ten thousand. Right, and that's a business that you own, yeah, that's and you can do whatever with. That's an extra ten, right? So you're trying to grow these, or well, you are growing these multiple businesses at the same time. Are you are you going to have your family run it? Like, is that is that why you're doing this to to give your family like assets? Like, what's the goal? Right, to get rich. But you're already rich. Nah, I ain't rich. Bro. I'm broke. What is broke to you, though? Bro, I'm probably the brokest person you know, bro. What do you consider broke? I'm very curious. Bro, I'm going to see. All right, bro. Well, hypothetically, if you was to ask me what being considered broke is. <laughs> hypothetically. Uh, yeah. I'd say I'm going to give a, a number that I really don't want to. I feel like it's too low, but I'm going to still give it. Okay. I feel like you got to at least have more than 50. Mm. 
I ain't gonna lie, like really a hundred, but I'm saying you could do something with fifty. Cause but you gotta think, stuff so high nowadays that 10, inflation, 20, yeah. 30 thousand ain't nothing no more. Mm. Like you ten, twenty, thirty ain't nothing no more, cause bro, stuff so high. Anything below fifty thousand in the bank, you're broke. Bro, you hey, you need to be grinding. Mm. See a lot of people get fifty thousand and feel like they done made it, but you gotta keep going, bro. Do you do you have an end goal or do you just love showing up every day and, and hustling? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. I look like I get up every morning and grind. That's the end. So even if you had a hundred million in, in homes and, and banking. I'm still and, gonna be grinding, bro. Yeah. See, but that's the thing with me, bro. Like I'm always hungry. Like all right, boom. Some people get a certain amount of money, they start to feel like they could chill. Mm. Bro, nah. Cause you never know what can happen. You don't, hey, like, you don't see Floyd, man. You love the chilling. You don't see Elon Musk chilling. Yeah. Like you, don't, like, you don't see none of them folks chilling. Like, why would I chill? Mm. And, bro, it's the, it's the thrill, bro. Grinding is just a thrill for me, bro. Is that part of why you did so much in the streets, too? Did you, did you like that thrill with, with yeah, trying not to get caught? That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. So you were, you were enjoying it? Like, even, yeah. Okay. Trapping used to be fun. It ain't fun no more though. Like yeah, trapping used to be fun. And you say that because it's it's harder to make money in the trap now. Nah, it's just different. It ain't fun like it used to be. Mm. Probably because I did it for so long. It ain't fun like it used to be, bro. Like mm. that's why I be chilling now, you know. And so, how long have you been in the trap? Like, is this ten years, twenty years? Like, what is it? Nah, like, like. 14. Wow. Yeah, hey, that's a long time, right? Yeah. Hey, that's a, hey, if, you, hey, if you find something, stick with it, man. You know? So I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm curious what you think. So do you think coming out with this podcast, Trap Stories, is going to influence people to get into the trap? Nah. Okay. But the only, all right, listen, if you watch a video and they make you want to do something, you weak-minded. Like you weak minded, bro. You supposed to have your own mind, mm. bro. It's you gotta think. When I was trapping, or when I started trapping, it that was literally all you could do was trap or get a job, bro. Like I started trapping in what, like, shit, like eight oh eight, two thousand eight, nine, something like that. That's right when uh the whole market crash recession hit. Yeah, like bro, like so back then that's all what you had to do to make money: trap or get a job. Like, it won't easy back then to start a business. Or well, it won't easy back then to get $10,000. $10,000 mm. used to be a lot of money back then, bro. Mm. They used to be a lot of money. If you had 10 racks in <laughs> 08, 09, you was dead. I'm curious to know what 10 racks could have got you in 2008 versus today. Because today is fucking crazy. Yeah, you can't get nothing. Uh, man, bro, you got to think. They be having shoes at two, 3000 so, bro. Yeah, because, bro, people will sell anything at any price because they know they can get that's it, though. That's like, a Like, a dude had the Travis Scott dumps, so he wanted 9000 a piece for him. A piece for the left shoe, and then <laughs> for, the, for the right shoe, you got to pay another. No, no, no. I mean, like a pound. Okay, bro. okay. Yeah, like a pound, like a pound. What if you only for one shoe? Yeah, like, bro, I'm not paying no 9000 Bro, listen, that's something about me. I don't care how much money I get. I'm never going to do nothing dumb like that, bro. Like, when people get millionaires, bro, I just seen this uh, reel on Instagram. The dude had the uh, the G-Wagon. Mm-hmm. It's like a truck, though. It ain't the Jeep G-Wagon. Bro, and he was like, the tag on there cost more than the truck did. Like, the license plate? Yeah. Like, bro, like some I'm custom shit. buying it. Like, that's stupid. Yeah. People make stupid decisions, bro. But what if it's something that you really want? Like you've been dreaming of a kid, like since a kid, you wanted some very like premium, luxurious shit. Would you? But so, right, so you guys understand how I operate, right? If I can't buy it five times, I don't buy a period. Mm. Like I've always times. been like that. So if it costs forty thousand, if I can't buy it five times, I don't need to buy it once. Like what's that? That's what. That's what. Uh, that's shit. Two hundred. So if you don't got two hundred thousand, you shouldn't be buying them. They cost forty thousand. Right. Simple. You're wasting too much of your money at that yeah. point, unless it's gonna make you more money. Exactly. 
But nowadays, anything can be an investment. Because mm-hmm. you got people that they'll rent jury for videos. They'll rent cars for videos. Bro, you can make money off anything nowadays, bro. That's crazy because that, that brings up a good point. Do you know how many people are profiting off of music who aren't artists just yeah. by selling shit to artists? That's a fact. Like, like that's, that's, it's really difficult to really go, to go somewhere as an artist. But there's going to be so many people that can make money off of you. That's a fact, bro. It's like, like I was just telling my partner, bro. Every day you you gotta spend money to make somebody else richer. No matter what you're doing, you gonna make you gonna be helping somebody else get richer. It's it's you know that's that's why it's it's difficult to find the good people though that are actually gonna help you. You know what I mean? Because I mean some people actually care. They're actually gonna fucking give you all they can. But hey, welcome back to Trap Stores episode zero zero one. <laughs> this might be two though at this point. You know, hey, and. And we have we about to have guests on here. And I'm, I look, you know what I'm gonna do? Man, I'm gonna bring some real trap legends on here, bro, from the city. Who you got in mind, bro? Like some trap legends from the city. You so, know? Okay, like, I'm looking forward to that. It, it's this one person in particular, like man, he got so much money together, man. We were getting money together for about ten years. Wow. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. You talking about the guy who who gave you the hat, or is this somebody else? No, 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 no. Okay, no, okay, no, okay. No, no, no. So, okay, and then we got, I know we got another, I know we got a, a female artist coming on here soon, too. You want to talk about her or, or you want to keep that surprise? Nah, bro. Well, let's lock, we got to lock that in first. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we got to lock it in. Right, bro. right, right. Because I've really been playing, like, she's supposed to have been on here today. Well, it's I all mean, good. We're going to keep it rolling no matter what. I've been busy, man. What were we talking about last? Bro, a lot of people don't know how to spend money strategically, bro. You got to know how to... Bro, I spend... Like, you know how people got plans for their days of the week? Yeah. That's how I spend my money, bro. I plan my money out like a, a work schedule. Okay, explain. Like, cause, bro, all right. If I spend... If I buy something that costs 5000 a day, I ain't going to turn around tomorrow and spend no money. Or the next day and spend no money. If it ain't no bill or something that got to be bought, I ain't broke. See, look, all right. So you budget, basically. Yeah, bro. If I spend, hypothet- bro, if I spend a thousand dollars, in my mind, I treat it like I done spent ten thousand. So I can go even harder to go on and make that back, some more back. Like, mm. Bro, I never get comfortable. None of that. Well, I'm sure that's the thing, because as you get richer and richer, a thousand dollars seems more like twenty dollars at a certain point. Hey, that's a fact. But, bro, it get to adding up. Yeah. Hey, you spend a thousand every day, bro. You look back, you gonna spend thirty thousand that month on some BS. Yeah. That shit, they get to adding up, bro. That just happened to me last month, bro. See, people don't even pay attention, bro. Like, like my people like that. Like he might spend two hundred a day on something that he don't even need. And then when he sit there and add it up, he like, damn, I done spent, I done spent five, ten thousand on mm-hmm. something dumb this month. Yeah. Like that shit add up. Every bro, I always remember that everything add up, everything count, every dollar add up, they count, bro. I like to say what doesn't get tracked or what doesn't get measured. Like you'll you'll never be able to track it. So some people aren't even tracking what they're spending. Yeah, that's a fact. And so like six months go past and they still got nothing in their bank and they're like, what the fuck happened? That's a fact. So hey, I ain't gonna count though, right? I don't really keep money in the bank. I hate banks. But it's it's convenient if you don't do no online shopping like that. Like if I do, I run to the ATM and put it in there. Boom. Cause like only the only bank account I got three bank accounts. I only keep money in one, and that's my bid. That's my CFN account. Like I keep probably like eight thousand in there. So, do you do that just as like a fail safe, just for like the worst case scenario? If like your bank account gets frozen, or they seize your funds for whatever reason? Nah, I or keep it in there so I can pay myself. See, man, y'all gotta get up on that, man. Look, hey, you can pay yourself and get hey, get legitimate check stubs, all that. All you gotta do is have an LLC and a business account. Mm. So when y'all be getting the fake check stuff made, you really ain't gotta do that. Bro, like you hey, all you need is an LLC, a business bank account, and an ADP account. The ADP account is what you get the check studs from. Mm. 
Mm. So like, boom, hip, do it like this. I got my business account with Chase. So I take money out of my Chase and put it in my Bank of America. So like for instance, right now, every two weeks, I pay myself thirty two fifty. Mm. So boom, I get I pay myself thirty two so a monthly, what's that? That's sixty five. Sixty five, yeah. So monthly I get sixty five hundred. From like, your business. Yeah, my business pay me sixty five hundred dollars a month. So if I want to go to the car lot, I got check stubs. Mm-hmm. Like, proof of income. Yeah, yeah, I got proof of income. Yeah. Like, see, a lot of people don't Rent a house. Yeah, yeah, like, you can do so much with it. A lot of people be getting the fake check stubs. I'm saying they cool because they be working. Do not get me wrong. <laughs> but who taught you that, though? Who, hey, I'm going to give you the band. I don't even know his name. I was just scrolling on YouTube one day. And yeah. I seen it. I'm like, boy, I got to do this. I actually wrote it down in my... I write everything in my notes because I know I'm going to forget it. I wrote it down in my notes, and I probably ain't used it for like two years. And you searched it up one day, and you found it again. Yeah, no, nah, I, I knew I always knew it was in my mo- my notes. No, no bullshit. This is how I say it in my notes. The title is <laughs> "Dirty Money to Clean." That's the title. <laughs> but no, no bullshit. Man. Dirty to clean, bro. That's my word. But YouTube, man, fuck, you can learn anything. Yes, I, I made six figures just learning from YouTube and, and running my own shit, like. So, bro, now if I like, if I wanna, bro, if I wanna go get a crib, I'm good. Like, I could just use my check stubs, go get it. How long you been doing that? Probably like six months. Six months. Yeah, but food, matter of fact, food line use ADP too. That's See, I don't even know what ADP is. I gotta look it up it's after a, this. It's a website who do um, check stubs. Like, it's a website where you could, like, when you pay your employees, you can go through them. They do the check stuff. See, but this is how I do it, boom. So after I pay myself thirty two fifty for that two weeks, it go into my Bank of America. But I go take it out of my Bank of America and put it back in my Chase. So I'm basically paying myself over and over with the same money, but I'm just doing that so I can have check stubs. Okay, my mind goes to is that legal? I mean, I guess why not, right? Yeah, I guess why not? Yeah, I think I'm not. I, I'm paying myself, but I'm not. My I'm getting paid from came from that music group, and you're investing it back in the business. Exactly. Yeah. So really, you ain't got to. It's just the same sixty five hundred going every time. Yeah. Well, it's really just the same thirty two fifty. Yeah, like it's the same, bro. Like. So if you got a spare amount of money, you could you could. Put in the business account, pay yourself, take that out, business account, and all of a sudden you got proof of income. Yeah, that's a fact. It's a cycle. It's a cycle, bro. And, and so you learned that from the same YouTube video, yeah, right? Yeah, the same YouTube video. That's my I got to get you to find it's that. It's a black dude. I don't, I, don't, I, do not, I don't know his name, bro. Like, he's sitting in a car while he's talking, though. That's all I remember. Was he, was he, did he make that video for that specific yeah, reason? Yeah, he made it for that specific reason. That's my word. That's so wild that that, I mean, I guess it's, you know... I guess that there's no law hey, against it. Fuck me it. up on gang with him, man. You know, hey, you see, look, y'all to be one of them hair cats. Hey, get your credit right. LLC business account, ADP account. Oh, and bro, y'all gotta get a virtual address. Yep. For your business company. Yep. Don't use your residential because people can look up your LLC That's and see fact. where you live. Yep. And you gotta get a business phone number. Like, like I was telling you earlier, you can get a business phone number for nine ninety nine a month. Is that, I, I know you can get a, like a Google number. Is that what that is? Or is that something? Nah, like? it's this website. Um, I forgot the name of it. I got it. Matter of fact. It's this website, bro. I told you, I saved everything in my notes. You got to. You got to write shit down, honestly. Like, I use this app called Notion. It's like super. Freedom Voice. That's the name of it. Freedom hey, Voice. Freedom Voice account. And yeah, get you a Freedom Wars account and you know. Got you. See, I didn't know you was going to be spitting this much game on episode one. Like, I didn't know you had all this, like, ready. Like, what the hell? I don't, bro. This just, this just turned into a business podcast right then. Yeah, it just be, you know, it just be coming out the top. Bro, I remember this time I got robbed, right? Okay. Bro, and it's crazy because I knew he was going to rob me. <laughs> well, like... Like, but nah, all right, see, look, this is how you be knowing when somebody on something. Bro, he called me like 12 o'clock that afternoon. Mm. He like, he like, bro, I'm doing this. I'm going to call you when I finish. Bro, he ain't calling me back at like 11 o'clock that night. Mm. So right then, I already knew. I'm like, damn, he he on something. He, he might be on something. He might not. But this is my people, though. 
but I never fully trust nobody, bro. Like I never. How long did you know this guy? I don't know, mm. but bro. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm about to go to the spot, drop, drop off everything, but what he want, and I probably, bro, I I kept like a hundred and fifty dollars on me at once. So, bro, when he see my pocket sticking up. So, it up, seemed like a lot. Yeah, he probably <laughs> thinking like, oh, yo, boy, I'm like, I just came off. So, bro, like, he when he walk up to the when he walk into the car, and he probably going to see this and laugh, too. Okay. <laughs> but I ain't seen it. Bro, I ain't seen him ever since this shit happened. That's my word. I really don't even know what that man look like no more, bro. This shit about. So, what happened? How you, how, how'd that go? You was in the car. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to okay. give you a run now. So, it's me, my baby mama, her sister. My daughter. So that's a full car. Yeah, and on top of that, we in a coupe. We in a two door coupe. So they couldn't even get out until you open the door. Yeah, we in yeah. a two door coupe. So when he walking to the, it's cold, so he got a hoodie on. But the way he walking and the way he got his hands, I'm like, bro, he got that found. I know he do. But I'm like, bro, if I just pull off, he might get the shoe. My daughter in the back seat. I can't let that happen. Mm. So I'm like, bro, I just I gotta let it play out. You in a tough spot. Yeah, I'm like, I gotta let it play out. So boom, when I reach the grab, bro, while I'm like this, I just see a red beam like shoot across the floor. I'm like, boom, I'm like, bro, I knew, I'm like, I knew he was on it. So um, bro, no cap, he went for, he put the gun like like on my knee or something. He like, bro, he like, bro, give me that thing. I'm like, shit, bro, you got it. Like I'm not about to try to, and then on top of that, he he was shaking. I'm like, man, shit, I'm not about to try to fight you. How old was he? I don't know, bro. Bro, I was probably like 19, bro. So mm. he probably somewhere around my age or older. I ain't for sure. Okay. Like I had met him through somebody, but we was dealing with each other for a minute. Yeah. So you so but you told him, hey, you're gonna get you get the money out of my pocket or something, basically. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you see you have all this shit. Cause bro, I ain't gonna lie. See, this how long ago it was. This when me when Reggie was popping. <laughs> That's how long ago this was, though. Okay. It was like two zips or some mid. So basically, he got two zips or some mid and $150. That's it. Like, <laughs> that ain't bro, shit. Yeah, you got like $300, $250 all together. Like. Okay, so where were you, though? Because it sounds like you pulled up on his house. Bro, I pulled up in a neighborhood. Okay. Like I and where'd he come lady. from? Did he walk out of a house or a car or something? Bro, like? nah. He was actually already outside. But see, this is something I do. I, I never pull right up on somebody. I pull to where they got to walk. So, bro, you could tell, like, what type of time somebody on off their demeanor. Mm. So, when I see him walking, I'm like, yeah, he got it on. But this is the crazy part. When I'm... Um, when I'm pulling off, like, bro, no, no. Like, he like, bro, he like, pull off, pull off. Right, bro, this is what he had told me. I don't know if he was lying or if he was just saying it's just to say it. He like, pull off, bro. He like, yeah, because they told me to kill you, but like, just pull off. So, bro, so when I'm pulling off, bro, niggas start popping from behind houses. I'm like, the fuck? Bro, they get to shooting and everything. Got you? Yeah. It reminds you, it's me, my baby mom, my daughter. No fucking way. So, yeah, bro, that, I'm like, hey, but well, listen, though, this, see, this is what I be telling folks, though. When people be like, oh, bro, if a nigga try to rob me, I'm going to do this. Man, hey. If you ain't got no training, if, if you ain't got. Boy, bro, not even that. Man, if somebody got the ups on you, yeah. man, you better get that shit up. Like, you you going to bump into him again? Like, you going to see that man again, I'm telling you. And if you're really good about making money, you can run it back up from zero. Yeah, that's a fact. But you going to see that man again, bro. There's no reason to try him right there. Possibly you lose your life, and what what did you accomplish? Or worse, somebody you know in the car gets yeah, shot. Then you, like, then you got to deal with that. Like, but that's what I be telling people. I be like, bro, when you got a gun on you, and you can see that the bullet in the head of that gun, bro, that changed your whole train of thought, bro. You're yeah. not thinking about trying it, man. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, mm. I don't been there now. But you never saw this man again, bro. I ain't seen that man. Or like I say. I ain't seen him in so long. I probably could walk past him right now. I wouldn't even know it was him. Like, that mm. literally been how long it been since I seen him, bro. Mm. Like, no care. And what about the person that, that you met him through? Did you ever tell him about that shit? What'd he say? Nah, they knew about it. Oh. Like, I ended up, uh, like see, 
All right, bro. I was fucking with his big dog. I was fucking with his big homie. Like his big homie had ended up calling me. He like, bro, pull up, bro. I got this for you. Like he he had actually like looked out for me. Mm-hmm. Hey, he know who he is. Hey, matter of fact, he locked up right now. Free that boy. You know, bro. And think about this, bro. I ain't never been in the game, bro. Like people just respect me. Like, yeah. I ain't never been in the game, none of that, bro. Why do you think? Why do you think most people get in the gangs, and why didn't you? Um, bro, I really can't sit. Me personally, I feel like hey, look, I might be false, but this is just how I feel. I feel like people get in the gangs because they be scared, or they be dying for respect, and they feel like that's the only way they can get respect. Mm. Bro, as long as you a stand up individual, people gonna respect you. Like, bro. I ain't never been in the gang. Hey, I fuck with everybody in the city. Everybody in the city fuck with me. I'm saying, you know, it's gonna always be a couple people hating. Like right. it's normal, but you know. So when was the last time you got robbed? Because I know you try and like, you know That was the last time. That was the last and when was that? I don't know. That's how long ago it was. Okay. Probably twenty two thousand eleven, twelve. But all right, boom, that was with me there. Like, oh yeah, because you talked about your house getting robbed while you boom. weren't there. Yeah, like, see, all right, if 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 people know you are sh- like you gonna shoot, they not gonna come in that house while you there. They gonna wait for you to leave. Like, I'm on like what this was like 2016, 2015, one uh, whatever year I moved out of Durham. That's the year it happened. Cause that's what actually made me move out of Durham. I'm like, damn, but that was too close, but. Mm. But it's raining, bro. Like it's raining hard. I mean, it's like broad daylight, and, and I'm so hot that um, when I pull up to the spot, I'm like, man, why the hell my baby mom need a door open for? But it click in my head. I'm like, damn, she's standing beside me, so there's no way she left the door open. And then like the whole frame of the door was messed up. Mm. So the only thing in my mind, I'm like, all right, bro, this how dumb I was. I had like. Probably like eighty thousand in cash in that bitch, bro. Was it still there, bro? Look, I'm about to tell you. Okay, bro. okay, okay. So look, the, um, the first thing popped in my head, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, bro, I hope they ain't get this motherfucking money. I don't care about the little other shit that was in there. Right. I hope they ain't get this money, bro. No cap. I walk in the room. You know how in the movies when like it's a treasure, how it just light up. Yeah. Bro, that's how the money was. That shit was right in my face. I'm like, bro, how the fuck did they? Was do it just out and over? Nah, I had it tucked. I had it tucked on the in the side of the box frame. Like I lined it up on the side of the box frame. Bro, this is okay. the crazy part. Bro, they flipped the box frame and everything. And bro, as soon as I was standing at the doorway of the room, I could see the money. I'm like, how the fuck what they the fuck? didn't see this shit? Like, that shit weird as hell. You didn't have cameras at the house either? Nah, bro. Like, cause at this time you really didn't need cameras, like. Mm. You ain't need cameras like that. Cause niggas won't like, bro, around this time in the city that breaking their career shit had died down. So niggas weren't really doing that shit like that. Mm. Yeah, that shit had died down. Can't come home, your house broken into, they flip the mattress box cover or whatever. You see you see the money right there. Yeah. Damn. But like they fuck they fucked my closet up. They um They took all your clothes and shit. Or everything bro, that's that. the thing. They ain't even take nothing to clothes, bro. They ain't say nothing. They probably got like, what's the point? They probably got like twenty racks worth of product. Mm. Ah, yeah. oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, they probably got like twenty racks worth of product. But that's see, that's something about me. Like when I was like when I was trapping, I never kept everything in one spot. Yeah. Like I never kept everything in one spot. So they, just, what was that? Like half of what you had or something, or like? Man, I ain't gonna count. At this time, I was turned. Yeah. So bro. <laughs> That shit was so petty that when they took it, I, I bro, I used to have storage units through the city. Man, no I way. just went to my storage unit, grabbed some more. That shit went on about my day. No way. Like, no cap. Like, went on about my day. You was on some fucking Heisenberg, Kingpin type shit. Like, do you still have, do you still have like cash from back in the day that you made that you got saved somewhere? Like, you keep, you got uh, a bunch of old cash on you? Uh uh. Mm mm. Bro, I don't like old money, bro. The old green hundreds or whatever. Yeah, I'm. A, I like new money. I don't like that. I ain't really into much into the old money. 
It's, it's all money anyway. It's, it's all the same. But like for instance, I don't save money. I don't put no money up unless it's blue honey. If it's not a blue honey, I'm not putting it up. You'll just you'll spend it or you'll just hang on to nah, it. Nah, I'll just keep it, but it's not getting put up in the stash. Oh, okay. So this is like, okay, if it's a blue, if it's a blue hundred, not touching it ever yeah, unless I like, need to. Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna touch it. Like it might be years. So where is that stash spot right now? Shit, what's what's the know. address? Where can people find it? Uh shit. I mean, see, you trying to find it, you probably gonna be talking to God. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. Okay. But nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna count though, man. Are you scared that you joking around saying that you're broke is gonna manifest itself to you being broke? Nah. Nah. I know me. Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, do you believe in manifestation? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you know, when you got faith in yourself and you got faith in your abilities, mm. you know. That's really. I mean, that's really it's like with anybody trying to do anything. Like even if you're trying to leave your job and start a business, like. Like, if you don't have faith, it's not going to work. Hey, but you know what they say, though, bro. You got to act broke in order to get rich. Yes. Live cheap as hell. As cheap as you can. I'm saying, I, don't, I can't live cheap, but, like, I can't live cheap. Because, bro, you got to think, bro. If you playing with any type of money and you stand in a bad area, that's a red flag right there. Right, right. Because I ain't no telling who's going to be in that area and who's going to be paying attention to what you're doing. 